So, as industrial processes go, mining coal was one of the simpler ones in terms of the basic steps from A to B to C. But there was some complication involved in getting the coal out of the ground to the surface, uh, sorted out for various qualities like its purity, you know, the, the chemical composition of it, uh, how much how much stone and things that didn't belong were mixed in among the lumps of coal. And so uh, here near the center of Thomas was a very large industrial complex. And facilitating the work of moving the coal to market was the railroad. Originally the West Virginia Central and Pittsburgh, later the Western Maryland. The most iconic of all the buildings to be found at a traditional undermine, underground coal mine entrance was called the Temple. And it's basically a place where either conveyor belts came out of a mine or a little coal car is not much bigger than an automobile, sometimes much smaller, would come up and, and that coal would be dumped at the top of the tipple into a hopper or a bin where then a series of, of machinery would, uh, uh, and assisted by human hands, would sort the coal, the lumps of coal by size uh, and by various other qualities. And so depending on its character, depending on its characteristics, that coal might be destined for a steel mill or for a home heating distributor or, or, or a chemical plant. And uh, based on what it was destined for, the railroad would assign a coal hopper car to each ship, to each shipment, or to a part of each shipment. It would be loaded accordingly and then taken away. So the coal hopper cars would be parked right underneath the temple for loading. Uh, and once the mine employees had loaded that car, uh, or a whole set of cars to be made up into a train, and then the railroad would come get it with a locomotive take it to the yard here in town and form those cars into trains for shipment to wherever they were bound.